Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Whisker Haven, Petite and Pumpkin Make a Splash, by Eddie J. Wellthorpe and illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. This book was published by Disney Press in 2015. It's a wonderfully sunny day in Whisker Haven. Pumpkin is going to make the most of it. She's all set to go for a swim and would love nothing more than to have her good friend Petite come along. What Pumpkin doesn't know is that Petite has a secret. She's always been just a little bit scared of the water. Well, maybe more than just a little bit. Maybe really scared. Really, really scared. Petite thinks it might be a good idea to find another pet to take her place. Or maybe they can all play together in a different way. Petite finds Dreamy, who's found a sunny spot in the garden for a catnap. Can we play when I wake up from my beauty sleep? Dreamy asks. Okay, Petite replies, and she heads off in search of another friend. Petite makes her way to the kitchen, where she finds Barry baking pies. The bunny is happy to have a quick romp through the kitchen before moving on to her next batch. Giddy up! She cheers with a giggle. But I can only play for a little while. I'd hate for my blueberry pie to burn. When the cooking timer chimes, Barry gets back to business, and Petite moves on. Surely she'll find more palace pets outside. When she heads back into the sunlight, Petite finds treasure by the pool. This is exactly the pet she's looking for. Treasure is such a water-loving kitty. She can swim with Pumpkin. But Treasure wants Petite to join too. You have to give the pool a try. I don't know. It doesn't seem like much fun, Petite says. How about the beach instead? Treasure says cheerfully. Adventure ahoy! Before Petite can stop her, Treasure is out to sea. Petite digs her hooves in the sand. I'm sorry, Treasure. I'm just too scared. What if it's too deep? Petite asks. Come on, Petite, Treasure cheers. The water is perfect. What if I get water in my mouth, or in my eyes, or in my nose? All you have to do is move your legs and keep your head up, Treasure says. You can do it, Petite. Petite gets close, then a little closer, then so close. I'm sorry, Treasure, I can't, Petite says. Petite needs to take a break. She heads back to her library to sit and read. She looks through every book about water that she can find. She reads about swimming and diving and wading and floating and paddling and snorkeling and boating and canoeing and rafting and surfing. After learning a lot, she sits and thinks. And then she thinks some more. Petite decides that it might be okay to splash around in the water. Maybe just a little bit. Now that Petite has done her homework, she's ready to be with the, her friends at the pool. Treasure and Pumpkin are so happy she's joining them in the water. Or by the water, or near the water. Maybe she'll stick a hoof in. Just maybe. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.